Hi, this is Abhilash from Civil Engineering Department. Today I am going to tell you about the general topic wastewater management. First of all, we should know about what is the proportion of earth surface. If we can see, the earth surface consists of land and water. Here, the water consists of approximately 71% and the remaining 29% is covered with land. If we see in close, the water is of two types. One is sea water and second one is fresh water. The sea water covered fully with seas and oceans. Remaining fresh water is covered with glaciers, ice caps and also with water vapour and some of that is present in on the surface that is surface sources like lakes, reservoirs, rivers and some of the water is present under the surface that means subsurface sources like impounding reservoirs, galleries, etc. If we see the percentage here, the sea water is approximately with 96.5% and fresh water is just 3.5% in all the waters. In this fresh water, we covered with ice caps and glaciers, etc., only 1% of water is available for drinking on the land. In that 1%, the water is not at all sufficient for our India today because in accordance with the population, the water is getting scarce. So, if we overcome that scarcity, we should do something. One thing we can do is, we can convert the seawater. All of us is know this fact. We can convert seawater to fresh water. For that, we have so many techniques. One is, one best technique is reverse osmosis. But, by using the technique, if we convert the sea water to fresh water, one major problem is there. The problem is, after converting the sea water to fresh water, one residue remains. That remains, residue is known as brine solution. We know sea water is fully concentrated with salt. If we reduce the water quantity in the sea water, it is more concentrated and it is very dangerous. The major problem with this conversion is disposal of brine solution. Uh, so many countries are able to convert the sea water to fresh water, but the problem is this. That's why it is not taken into consideration. So the second solution is use the existing water. For that, we should know about the types of wastewater first. The wastewater is generally two types, sewage and sullage. First we should know about wastewater, wastewater is any used water, either for domestic purpose or industrial purpose or commercial purpose or for homes. Sewage is any wastewater comes from domestic purpose including the sewage where sullage is the wastewater only coming from kitchens and bathrooms. That is the difference between this. For using a technique, that is using the existing water, we can use the sullage for reuse, while the water coming from bathrooms or kitchens, we can convert that water into fresh water. That means not able to and not unfit, uh, not fit to drinking, but we can use it for domestic purpose like gardening or floor cleaning or washing toilets or etc. So this technique can be possible by using one system that is wastewater management. But for using the technique, we can use two principles. One principle is three R principle. Here three R reflects one is 
reduce reuse recycle that is already already existing principle recently one principle came that is 5r principle apart from this other two are added those are recovery and refuse if we see all these techniques reduce means the water consumption can be reduced i mean generally we can use 135 liters per day per person if we can consume some water we can save up to 15 or 20 at least that means the reduction reuse means i already told you about in uh, if we take the sludge this uh, waste water is coming from this bathrooms and toilets i mean also from kitchens we can reuse the water after some filtration techniques so this recycle this three are similar techniques if we see this refuse refuse means most of the uh, most of the towns or developed cities use more and more water for unwanted things if we can control that water by refusing refusing unnecessary things we can save some water this is 3r and 5r principles